Hello, friends, and thank you as always for visiting the Legend Sports Universe YouTube channel, Legend Sports Universe, where legends play forever. We come to you live from Arlington, Texas, for the Franchise Stars Baseball League Game of the Week from May 18th of Year 3 of the FSBL, an American League West matchup between a pair of struggling Texas rivals, the Houston Astros, will visit the Texas Rangers. First pitch here being thrown by who knows who. It doesn't do anything to tell us who that is, but that's all right. We don't care. Here's you, Darvish. He will get the start for the Rangers. Darvish has been erratic, to say the least, here in the early going. 3-3, three and three, a 4.79 earned run average through his first nine starts. We'll see that he has been hittable to this point. 69 hits and 56 in the third. That has that whip over 1.4. Leading off for the Astros will be Cesar Cedena, batting 260 on the year. Both of these teams trying to get themselves going. Now they have the unfortunate task of trying to chase down the Oakland A's, who after a slow start have once again emerged as the top team in the American League. First pitch from Darvish misses to Cedena. Fastball misses down and away. Darvish quickly behind in the count. 2-0 here. There's a delivery. Cedeno hits his fly ball out to left. That is grabbed by Rusty Greer for out number one. Got it, the second baseman. Your Astros lineup, Cedeno, Doran, and Bagwell. Springer, Bregman, and Pence. Watson, Edwards, and Everett. Tenth in the league in OPS. You'll notice the Astros' big omission. Jose Altuve on the injured list with a dislocated shoulder. He's still going to be out for several weeks in here. But Bill Doran getting the opportunity here. Doran batting 269 since his call up. Frank Grant has been getting the bulk of the time. The rookie, but he will get the day off in this one. one 0 -oh pitch from Darvish. Cutter misses down low. It's 2-0. Oh. Darvish looks in. That ball is fouled away. Once again, come to the set. Slider doesn't slide. It stays outside. Three and one, the count to Doran. Jeff Bagwell having another terrific year here in his sophomore campaign in the FSBL. Waits on deck. That's ball from Darvish is fouled off by Doran. Count is three and two. and crowding the plate there from the left-hand side. 3-2 offering from Darvish. High fastball gets him. Doran swings and misses, and there are two away here in the first. First strikeout for Darvish. Two batters in. So that'll bring up Bagwell. Again, Bagwell last year, the runner-up in the American League Rookie of the Year campaign to Indians hurler Addy Joss. Bagwell having a fine year too, batting 327 as he takes a cutter on the inside corner. 10 homers, 26 RBIs, that OPS up over 1,000 in the top five in the American League. Bagwell in that unique, deep crouch stance from the right hand side. Harvest delivers, curveball. Bagwell just gets a piece and fouls it off. Darvish is ahead 0 2 here. Looks in and delivers. Breaking ball gets Bagwell. So Darvish sets down the Astros in order. Racks up a couple of Ks here in the first inning. Astros do nothing. Rangers coming up. Wills, Andrews, and Beltre for Texas. And they will face Mike Scott. Scott on the year. 3-2. and two, A 2.91 earned run average to this point. Very solid. 1.13 whip. He has made nine starts. This will be number 10 on the season. 
armed with that fierce splitter slash scuff ball, depending who you ask. Here's Bump Will. Will's batting 235. He's stolen 13 bags so far this year. Not getting on base much, but he has been able to inflict some damage once he's gotten onto the base bats. Bounce off the first pitch of Scott. It's 0-1. Appreciate you all joining me here on a Saturday evening. Appreciate you taking the time. Will spells this one off, and the count goes to 0-2. We've done an Astros broadcast before, but this is the first time we've seen the Rangers this season. Wills fouls off the outside pitch to keep the count at 0-2. Nathaniel Lynch checks in. How are you, Nathaniel? Good to see you. I hope you are well, my friend. Scott, brown ball, slapped down to third. Fielded by Bregman. He throws over, and there's one away. Doug Hunt checks in. How are you, Doug? Good evening, sir. Thanks for coming out to the ballpark. Here's your Rangers lineup. Wills, Andrews, and Beltre. Teixeira, Howard, the rookie, Rafael Palmiero. Burroughs, Greer, and Sunberg. Rangers batting 258 as a team. That is 12th in the American League. Scott delivers. Andrews fights one off. Kind of a jam shot. Bagwell flips the first. They're not going to get him. We'll see how they score that. They're going to score that an infield base hit for Elvis Andrews. Ball kind of knuckled on the backhand on Bagwell. Knocked it down. Made the flip to Scott covering, but Andrews, who gets down the line well, beats it out. And the Rangers have a one-out base run. That'll bring up the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. Pick off throw to first, and he got him. Mike Scott picks off Elvis Andrews. And just like that, there are two outs here in the first. You saw Andrews got caught leaning, trying to get that extra step. And Scott read it well. They picked him off. No argument there. Two down here in the bottom of the first. Splitter there. In for a called strike. Bell trade, 328. Good for ninth in the American League. Six homers, 24 RBIs. Here as we reach May 18th, in year three of the FSPL, we are a couple weeks away from the rookie draft. Splitter from Scott misses inside. It's two and one. There's a shot down the left field line. That's going to be trouble with a fair ball just inside the chalk. They'll train around first. He'll pull into second with a two out double. And the Rangers have a runner in scoring position here in the bottom of the first. And double of the season for Beltre. Just a good professional hitter. That one hits right on the chalk line. Oh, geez, Doug. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad to hear you're doing better now. In steps the first baseman, Mark Teixeira. Teixeira batting 254. Eight home runs, 26 runs batted in. Scott looks in. Splitter misses down and away. That's Scott's bread and butter pitch. 2-0, the count to Teixeira. Fastball from Scott misses up high. It's 3-0. Big Frank Howard waits on deck, and Howard has had a tough slog through these first two months or so. That is 195. Rangers hope to get Hondo going. Splitter there dives just down low below the knees for ball four. So Teixeira works out the two-out walk. It's first and second, and here's Howard. There you see that average, 195. It's a slider in for a called strike. Four homers, 16 RBIs, the 538 OPS. Far cry from 
last season for Howard. Howard had a very good year last year. For these Rangers. This offense is very much predicated on Frank Howard being productive. One and one the count. Scott delivers. Splitter is in for a called strike. It's one and two. Scott rocks and fires again. Fastball inside. Ties Howard up. He goes down swinging as his struggles continue. And Scott gets out of the mini jam. So we're through one here in Arlington. We'll head to the top of the second. Springer, Bregman, and Pence do up for the Astros. Here's George Springer, 247. Eight homers, 20 runs, batting in. Number three. For the Astros right field. Slider there, he fouls it off. Which delivers. Good slider there. Springer flies off of that one and Darvish is ahead of him 0 2. Darvish looks in and delivers. High fastball. Springer pops it up. Shallow center field going out. It's a long run. Bump Wilts. Ends up way out there. Out in shallow center. <laughs> being played very, not even super shallow center, actually. A long run for Wills. He tracks that one down. Here's Alex Bregman. Bregman, 259, 8 homers, 26 RBIs. Darvish delivers. Bregman turns that first pitch fastball down to strike one. delivers. Bregman hits this one well. That's going back to left. On the run is Greer. He'll get there. Puts it away for out number two. Thought that one had a little more juice than that off the bat. So that'll bring up Hunter Pence. 307. Four homers. 17 RBI. Pitch slider misses down low. Darvish delivers there. One shot the other way, but down. Out goes to one and one. My ball on the right. That's going to be cracked. Jeff Burrows there puts it away, and the side is retired. So the Astros go down in order. We'll head to the bottom of the second. Palmero, Burrows, and Greer do up for Texas. Here's Rafael Palmero, the rookie batting 241, six homers, 16 RBI. Rangers very hopeful that Palmero will develop into a strong contributor to this offense. That's ball from Scott. Our splitter down low. Didn't seem to have much movement on it. I misread that pitch. Palmero fouled it off. Scott delivers again. Slider down low. It's one and one. It's coming from Scott. Splitter and Palmero flies out in front of that one. It's one and two. Splitter fouled off. <laughs> Raffy, yes, Hunt. Mr. Doug Hunt notes Raffy at the plate. He'll, he'll become a fine player here for sure. Pops this one up and foul ground. Bregman is there, puts it away for out number one. 
No congressional hearings to make Palmero look like an idiot here in the FSBL. Here's Jeff Burrows, and Burrows has had a fine start to this season. 333, seven homers, 21 RBIs for Burrows. Ball misses off the plate. That's ball there. Is that Out goes the one on one. That one is yanked down. The count's now one and two. Scott now ahead of Burrow. Put her down in the dirt. Now it gets even at two apiece. And a beautiful splitter on the inside corner. Burroughs goes down looking. Strike out there for Scott. There's two away here in the bottom of the second. That'll bring up Rusty Greer. Greer batting 264. Smacks it to short. Fielded by Everett. Throw to first. And the side is retired. So we're through two here in Arlington. Astros and Rangers are scoreless. Watson, Edwards, and Everett do up for Houston. That'll bring up Bob Watson, 255, five homers, 23. Runs batted in for Watson. A little bit slow out of the game for Watson, who is a fine, solid professional hitter. 23 RBIs, though, for Watson. Not a bad number at this point in this game. Put him on pace for mid 70s or so. Oh, one fastball rides inside. It's one and one. Pitch fastball is in, and the count goes to one and two. It's getting ahead of hitters early in the game. It's not been consistent in doing that to this point this year, and a beautiful slider there gets Watson full battle. Third strikeout for Darvish. There's one away here in the top of the third. Johnny. Hey, you can see the sequence, couple of two seamers inside. And started to work his way away, got him the chase. So that'll bring up the catcher, Johnny Edwards. Edwards batting 221. Edwards yanks this one back. And the Astros without Jose Altuve, who is on the injured list. Dislocated shoulder to keep him out for a few more weeks. Astros offense can ill afford to be missing a productive player like Altuve. Edwards dunks one into left, and there's a base hit. Good piece of hitting there from Johnny Edwards. Dump one to the opposite field with the one out single. The shortstop, Adam Everett. On the outside part of the plate, and Edwards just goes with it. So now here comes Adam Everett, and Everett has been a black hole at short. He is a fine defender, and with Craig Reynolds injured, though, they're going to have to swallow Everett's poor offense here. 180, no homers, two RBIs. Not feeling that. I think Raphael Landis, though, is the other guy who's going to give them anything, anything better than what Everett's giving them right now, and Everett lines a single in the center. So the bottom of the Astros order comes through with back-to-back -back hits here with one out in the top of the third. Pass ball down the middle, and Everett puts it right back from whence it came. So the order turns over. Here Cesar Cedeno. Cedeno is 0 for 1. Pass ball there. Locks Cedeno up.
Well, just the reverse to Daniel. Jam shot. Hop to short. Whips to second. Double play. So just a jam shot there. Runners were on the move. Nothing could be done about that. That is about as easy a double play as you can possibly turn. Head to the bottom of the third. Here's Jim Sundberg. Sundberg batting 277. Homer 18 RBIs. For the Rangers catcher as he steps in to face Mike Scott in a scoreless game. Bottom of the third here in Arlington. That's ball from Scott on the outside corner. and deals. Ground ball to Everett. Charges. He's got time. Throws the first. There's one away. Extros wearing their late 70s unis. Rangers breaking out the 1986 mark. Here's Bump Wills. Wills is 0 for 1. He grounded out his first time up. Fastball from Scott catches the inside corner for strike one. Fox and fires. Wills tries to bunt his way on. It's a beauty. Tough play for Bregman. Rushes barehanded throw. He's not going to get him. One base hit for Bump Wills with one out here in the bottom of the third. Bregman did all he could do on this one. Beauty laid down along the line by Wills. Bregman charged, made the bare hand play and the strong throw. So Wills has 13 stolen bases to this point. We'll see if they send him here. Here's Elvis Andrews. Andrews reached on an infield single, but then was picked off. First hit fastball for Scott right down the middle for strike one. Rangers took the first game yesterday of this three-game set. over. It almost dives back in safe. Another throw over. No tag even applied by Bagwell there. And another throw. Scott very much aware of the thread of Bump Wills over at first. Pitch out, it doesn't go. Edwards and Scott shat a little bit as Edwards walks halfway out to the mound there before giving the ball back. One one pitch from Scott, fastball down low. Coach giving the signal. Another throw over from Scott. Wills does not seem to take a big lead to this point. There's the delivery. Andrews smacks it to second. Doran, he's going to step on the bag himself. Throw to first. Bill Doran with the double play there. Nicely done. So the Rangers are set aside. We're a third of the way through here in Texas. Astros nothing, Rangers nothing as we head to the top of the fourth. Here's Bill Doran. Doran is over one, struck out his first time up. Made that nice play to wrap up the third there. Darvish has looked solid so far. He misses with the first pitch slider. No offering, curveball down low. Another curveball, that one locks Doran up. Tries to hold, but it's in there for a called strike anyway. Barnish bounces another one. So three and one to Doran with Bagwell on deck. The 
Rivers. That's ball in for a strike. Now it goes to three and two. Payoff pitch, fastball misses just inside for ball four. So Doran works out the leadoff walk here in the top of the fourth, and here's Bagwell. Bagwell struck out his first time up. Barnes throws over, Doran gets back. Doran capable of swiping the bag if you don't pay attention. Fastball is in for a strike. Barnes takes a peek over at Bill Doran and delivers. Curve ball there, misses out that. Our good friend Al Red Sox fan joined us. Al, I hope you are well, my friend. Hope all is good with you and yours. If you are one of the few who are into this hobby and have not checked out terrific channel. Please do yourself the favor of going, giving him a like, a subscribe, a watch, a follow, etc, etc. Two and one the count, Bagwell fouls it off, the count goes to two and two. Harvest delivers, fastball popped up in foul territory. Teixeira moves over. He'll have a play. Puts it away for out number one. So that'll bring up George Springer. Springer popped out his first time up. Throw over to first. A little bit high. Teixeira snags it, though. Or it dives back in safety. And it's been a very up and down season for Darvish thus far. He has looked solid here in this one. Want to know the count as he works the spring. Slider on the inside corner. It's one and one. Shot down to first. Teixeira is able to knock it down. Darvish covers. They're going to have to hurry, and they're not going to get him. So the Rangers got a hit like that earlier on. Elvis Andrews got one. And now Springer gets the same kind of play, a little bit of an in-between play there. Teixeira, very close play at first. Teixeira knocks it down. Teixeira would probably tell you he should have fielded that cleanly. But now Alex Bregman comes up with first and second and one out. Butter on the inside corner for strike one. Bregman lined out his first time up. Darvish delivers. Her ball misses away. There's a fly ball to right. Burroughs drifts under it. Puts it away. Four out number two. There's a hole. So here's Hunter Pence. Pence is 0 for 1. He flew out his first time. Line shot to left. Going back on it is Greer. Going back. Cracks it down. Nicely done. Rusty Greer. And the side is retired. That ball was smacked well by Springer, but Greer reels it in. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth. Still scoreless in Texas. Astros and Rangers. Here's Adrian Beltre. Beltre, one for one. Doubled his first time up. Adrian. Continuing what's been a fine season for him so far. 331. Six homers, 24 ribbons. Mike Scott delivers. First pitch splitter on the inside corner. And 
No sandpaper checks for Mike Scott as of yet. 4-1 off. Beltre yanks another one. Deep to left. Down the line. Just foul. Oh my goodness. Beltre did not miss another double by much. Instead, the count goes to 0-2, and, and Scott gets him to swing over the splitter. Third strikeout for Scott, and there's one away here in the bottom of the fourth. Number 23. So here's Teixeira. Teixeira takes the splitter for strike one. He walked his first time up. Eight homers, 26 RBIs so far for Teixeira. Scott delivers. That's all misses up and away. Scott rocks and fires. Smack down in the hole. Everett on the backhand long throw. Teixeira does not run well. Nice play by Everett. And Teixeira goes down for the second out. So here's Frank Howard. Howard is 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. And again, Hondo just having a brutal time to this point in the season. Takes the first pitch splitter for a called strike. That's ball misses inside. Another splitter at the knees. But Scott's ahead of Howard, one and two here. Here's the offering. Howard, high fly ball, left center. Cesar Cedeno drifts over into the gap, puts it away, and the side is retired. So we're through four in Arlington. Astros and Rangers still scoreless. Watson, Edwards, and Everett do up for the Astros. Here's Bob Watson. Watson struck out his first time up. Bob Watson. Garbage has looked solid to this point. Came in with an ERA 4.79. Looking to trim that a bit closer toward respectability. Watson, ground ball to short, fielded by Andrews on the back. Throw it first, there's one away. The catcher, number eight, Johnny So that'll bring up Johnny Edwards. Edwards singled his first time. Astros had back-to-back -back singles, actually, from their eight and nine hit. Weren't able to get anything done with it. Curve ball there, misses down low. Which looks in and delivers. Edwards fouls it off. One and one the count. Hopped up. Near the bag at third. Beltray on it. Puts it away for two down. Now batting. Shortstop. Adam That'll bring up Everett. Adam Everett. Everett, as we mentioned, has been very unproductive at the plate this season, but he did single his first time up here. Darvish looks in and deals. Fastball misses inside. Offering Everett dunks one in the center, and there's a base hit. So Adam Everett, two for two here. Astros would love to see him get his bat going, but Everett's never going to be a big hitter. But if you can get him to stop hitting 180, 
You're the Astros. You'd be very happy with that. So the order turns over. Two out base runner. Here's Cesar Cedeno. Cedeno is 0 for 2. He has blown out and lined up. Cedeno down the right field line, slicing. That will find the seats and out of play. Which delivers again. Slider misses outside. Bill Doran waits on deck. Darvish delivers. Fly ball, right field. Coming on, Jeff Burrows. He'll get there. Puts it away, and the side is retired. So we're midway through here. Astros and Rangers still scoreless. Rangers will try to get something going against Mike Scott. They've got Palmiro, Burrows, and Greer due up. Here's Raphael Palmiero. He popped out his first time up. And Palmiero, the rookie here. Palmiero. Trying to get himself going. Scott and Darvish both look solid. First pitch swinging, chopper to short. Everett ranges to his left. Sets and throws, and there's one away. The right fielder, number 20, Jeff Burroughs. So here's Burroughs. Burroughs struck out his first time. He homered in yesterday's. Splitter. All oh, the ball. I don't know where that pick was. Count is 1 0. That's ball there. Burroughs turns it back. Scott rocks and fires. He's inside. Splitter ties Burroughs up a bit. And Scott's ahead of him 1 and 2. High fastball, Burroughs skies at the center. Cedeno drifting back, carrying pretty well, but he'll have a play on it. Puts it away, and there's two down. The batter, the left hand, Rusty Greer. So that'll bring up Rusty Greer. Greer is over one. He's grounded out his last time up. Greer has made a couple of decent plays out there and left in this game. Takes a splitter here on the outside corner at the knees. Smart take there. Nothing you're going to do with that pick. Offering from Scott. Here swings and misses, and the count is 0 2. Economical so far for Mike Scott. He's only had 53 pitches with two outs in the fifth. Scott rocks and fire. Splitter misses down low. Scott rocks and fires again. Splitter misses away. Here's the pitch. Splitter off the plate. Count goes full. Jim Sunberg waits in the on deck circle. Three-two offering from Scott. Rear smacks it up the middle. Everett ranges. He's got it. Throws the first down in the dirt, but Bagwell kicks it, and the side is retired. So we've still got zeros on the scoreboard. We'll head to the sixth. Doran, Bagwell, and Springer do up for Houston. Doran, 0 for 1 with a walk. The second baseman. It's from Darvish. Fastball just in time. It's from the set. They're down low. It's 2-0. Oh. Oh. 
Martin, Frank Grant, the rookie. Defensive stalwart getting a rest today. Doran gets the start with Jose Altuve on the injured list. Slider misses up high. It's 3-0. There you see Jeff Bagwell swinging on deck. Delivers. Doran taking all the way. Takes a fastball right down the middle. Three and one the count. Darvish delivers. Doran pulls it towards the hole. Wills range is left. Nice play out on the edge of the infield dirt. Ranging onto the grass. Makes the throw to first and there's one away. Nice we've done there by Bump Wills. and gets down the line fairly well. So here's Bagwell. Bagwell is 0 for 2. First pitch fastball away. Bagwell flies open, swings and misses his own one. Now no tech of a pitcher's duel here. Yeah, we got a good one. It's funny, the games this season that I've streamed, and I'm streaming more of them, but the bulk of them have been more pitching than, than hitting. In the league as, as a whole this year, the offense is down a little bit, but in the games that I'm streaming, we've had a lot more low-scoring games than, than high-scoring games this year, which I personally enjoy. I, I don't mind, you know, a good amount of offense, but I I, I, mean, I, I pitched, I, I lean towards, I lean a bit towards pitching and defense. So, these kind of matchups appeal to me. One and two the count here as Darvish works the bag. Swing and a miss at the slider. Darvish gets him for the second time. Fourth strikeout on the game. Check out how he worked in here. Away, away, away. Didn't even attempt to come inside on Bagwell. So here's Springer. Springer is one for two. And Springer, deep to left. And as we talk about the pitcher's duel, we get our first run. George Springer unloads on you, Darvish. Home run number nine on the year for Springer. And the Astros get the first run of this pitcher's duel. It's one nothing, Houston. That was a no-doubter off the bat of George Springer. Belt high fastball, and this one is crushed. That ball got out of here with room to spare. They call it 441 on the stat cast. That is a no-doubter from George Springer. So now here's Alex Bregman. Bregman is 0 for 2. Darvish will try to get himself back in order here. Bregman is flown out and lined out. Darvish delivers here. Fastball off the plate. It's 2 and 0. sets and delivers cutter there that one got a bit too much of the plate Darvish got away with one there Bregman fouls it off that one's popped up foul ground to Shara coming on he'll get there puts it away and the side is retired but George Springer breaks our scoreless tie with his ninth home run of the season We'll head to the bottom of the sixth here in Texas. Astros one, Rangers nothing. Steal a sip of water quick. Channeling my inner Bernard Strong. 
our good friend. Be sure to check out Bernie's channel. Here's Jim Sunberg. Sunberg all for one. Number eight. Now Mike Scott has a lead. We'll see if he can protect it. This is down low with the splitter. That's ball there. Borderline pitch on the outside corner. Scott wanted it. The ump refuses to give it to him. Scott gets the sign from Johnny Edwards. Splitter is fouled off. Scott will ground it to third. Bregman knocks it down. Can't field it cleanly. But he has time to get the slow-footed Sunberg. And there's one away. Bregman catches a break there. Can't field it cleanly, but stays with it. Finishes the play for the first out. Here's Bump Wills. Wills is one for two. Takes the splitter away. one old pitch from Scott. And Bump Wills drives this one towards the gap. That's going to be extra bases. Wills can run well. We'll see if he's going to try to test it. He rounds second. He's going for third. Springer's throw to Doran. Doran's relay to third is not in time. It's a one-out triple from Bump Wills, his second triple of the season. And the Rangers have the tying run 90 feet away. Wills turned on that one from Scott. Gets himself into third with plenty of time. So now, one out. Tying run on third. Here's Elvis Andrews. Andrews is one for two. First pitch swinging, and Andrews pops it up on the infield. Bagwell is there, puts it away, and that's a huge out for Mike Scott. Elvis Andrews, first pitch swinging, pops it up. That is a kangaroo court fine, I think. Here's Adrian Beltre. Beltre is one for two. He doubled, and he just missed a double in his last at bat before striking out. Hit a ball that was less than a foot outside the foul pit. Fastball misses up and in. Johnny Edwards sets the sign and the target. Scott delivers. Beltre turns it hard, but foul. Stay awake there in uh, those front few rows, fans. One and one, the count. Scott delivers. Elfre fouls it off the other way. Count goes to one and two. Mike Scott, of course, in real life, a mediocre Mets pitcher. We're discovering how to use sandpaper effectively and going on to several fine years with the Astros. Beltre lines one. Bregman jumps, knocks it down, throws the first, and he gets him. So out, Bregman. Two plays in the inning. Can't feel clearly, but retires the out. And the Rangers are turned aside despite the bump Will's triple. We'll head to the top of the seventh. Astros won, Rangers nothing is our good friend Sports Time Machine check him. He's been doing some great stuff on his channel. Be sure to tune in over there and watch some of his recent streams. Fastball misses up high. Joaquin Benoit Neftali Feliz throwing out in the Rangers bullpen. Again, now that we're in the seventh, I'll start getting a little bit involved with potential subs and stuff like that as I see fit. That's ball at the knee. This count goes to one and one. Only run in this game. George Springer, sixth inning solo shot off you, Darvish. Darvish has been very good. Scott's just been a little better. 2 1 count as Darvish works the pence. Pence line drive to right. That'll fall in front of Burroughs for a base hit. So it's a lead off single. Here four pins. That'll bring up Bob Watson. 
And that's going to be it for you, Darvish. So Darvish's day is done. Again, Darvish came in with an ERA of 4.79 this season. Easily his best start of the year here for the Rangers. And now they'll turn it over to the bullpen. And Joaquin Benoit's going to come in, and he's going to try to get his act together. This will be his 13th appearance. He is 0-2, an ERA of 10.97. Obviously a small sample size in 10 innings, but that ERA is hard to ignore. He will face Bob Watson here first. His fastball is in for a called strike. Uh, fourth time it's been asked, is this the Rangers' new ballpark? No, this is the old, they, they have the old ballpark, so I put them in the old park at Arlington. Um, again, I will almost always, if I have the option, I'll have them play with older uniforms or older ballparks, if that's, uh, if that's at all possible. Unless, of course, it's a park they've been in for, you know, for a while. But, like, of the new parks, if they have one of the older parks, I'll put them, I'll put them there. And the Mets play at Shea, for example. I mean, City Field is new at this point. But. Watson winds it the other way. That's a base hit for right field. Pence was on the move. Pence is going to go to third. Burroughs' throw is cut off. And now the Astros have runners at the corners with nobody out here in the top of the seventh. Dan Burke has joined us. How are you, Dan? Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for checking in. I hope all is well. So now here's Johnny Edwards. Edwards is one for two. Takes the slider away. You're Edwards. You're just trying not to strike out or pop out here. Even a double play ball would get a run home. Problem. Change up. Taking for a strike. It's one and one. from the set. 1-1 one, one pitch. Edwards fouls it off and goes to 1-2. and two. Astros have a chance to extend this lead a bit. Get Mike Scott in the insurance run. Here's the 1-2 offer. Fastball misses up and in. It's 2-2. Two two. It popped up, foul ground. Beltre can't get to it. Not enough elevation on the weak foul ball there from Edwards. He stays alive. 2-2 pitch from Benoit. Edwards back to the mound. Benoit wakes the play. Throws the second for one on the first. A 1-6-3 double play. The runner at third has the hold. And that is a huge, huge play potentially for Benoit and the Rangers. That is an ideal result there. Hunter Pence has to stay at third. And now it's up to Adam Everett. Everett has been, as we mentioned earlier, abysmal at the plate this season, but he's two for two today. First pitch fastball from Benoit. This is down low. One old pitch. High fastball swung on and missed. Rangers were able to come back and win this game. That double play ball is going to come back as a big reason why. Hopped up here to second. Wills comes on, puts it away, and the side is retired. Benoit gets out of the jam. Seventh inning stretch time here in Arlington. The Shera, Howard, and Palmero do up for the Rangers. They trail it 1-0. Here's Mark Teixeira. He is 0 for 1. He's also walked. The first baseman, number 23. Mike Scott only at 68 pitches. We're going to go and make sure the Astros have bullpen action going. And they do. Brad Lidge and Larry Anderson are both up and throwing. Which is fine. I just wanted to make sure that they had they had somebody, somebody up and throwing in case Scott gets in trouble. The fastball is fouled off. Out of town scoreboard, Orioles 
8-0 winners over the Royals. The Yankees, 4-0 winners over the Cardinals. Ron Gintry, a complete game, 5-hit shutout. Striking out 8 in that one. Red Sox over the Rays in the 7th in Tampa, 4-2. Kurt Casale is homered for the Rays in that one. Twins up 3-1 on the White Sox. Actually, that's a final in Minnesota. Johan Santana out pitches Wilbur Wood. Robin Ventura homered for the White Sox. Home. Santana, eight innings of four hit one run ball. Detroit, they red hot. They defeat the Indians 3 2 in Cleveland. Mickey Lolich out duels George Gould. Jose Ramirez, his eighth home run of the season for the tribe. Blue Jays up on the Angels 6 2 in Toronto in the seventh. Mike Napoli is driven in a run for the Angels. Jose Batista, his 15th home run of the year for Toronto. Mariners blank the A's in Seattle, 2 0. Lefty Grove takes the loss there. Number foul at the first base line from Honda. Diamondbacks up 5 3 on the Marlins in the seventh. Justin Upton hit his seventh for Arizona. 1 2 pitch, Scott here to Howard, who fouls off the high fastball. Reds up 6 2 on the Brewers in Cincinnati in the seventh. Heidi Grove has three hits in two arms there. Expos beat the Phillies 6-1 in Montreal. Max Scherzer with the win. Howard fouls off another hit. Ryan Howard did his seventh home run in that game for Philadelphia in the walk. Andres take down the Pirates 7-6 in Pittsburgh. Howard puts this one the other way. Springer is there. Makes the grab and there's two down in the bottom of the seventh. Dodgers and Rockies just underway in L.A. It's 1-0. Jeff Francis and Preacher Row, the pitching matchup there. Braves all over the Giants. 10-0 in San Francisco. Greg Maddox wins his fifth. Complete game, five-hit shutout for Maddox in that one. The game seen here on the channel. Mets defeated the Cubs 3-0 at Wrigley. Tom Seaver was broken, winning his sixth. One and one to count here to Palmeiro with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. Scott rocks and fires. Smash down to first. Bagwell dives, knocks it down. Flips to Scott, and the side is retired. Nice play, Jeff Bagwell. And a good job by Mike Scott to get over there and cover. So we are through seven at Arlington. Astros won, Rangers nothing. Cedeno, Doran, and Bagwell do up for Houston. 13 pitches for Benoit in the inning. I'm going to take a look here at the Rangers bullpen. Again, Benoit has not been good. I kind of feel like get him out of there on, on a high note. You the Rangers rather than push it. Um, it's Daniel Doran Bagwell, righty righties. Cordero and Feliz. Man, they're both bad. Rangers both pretty dreadful, actually. At least that middle release has been dreadful. We're going to go to Neftali Feliz here. Give him a game for Feliz. This will be his 25th appearance of the season. Again, we're at May 18th. He has worked a lot. He is 2 0, a 4.13 earned run average. Feliz will get the eighth for the Rangers. He will start off facing Cesar Cedeno. Cedeno is 0 for 3. First pitch, fastball on the inside corner. Francisco Cordero is still out there throwing for the Rangers just in case there's an issue. Brad Lidge and Larry Anderson were up and throwing in the Astros bullpen. Not sure if they're still throwing, but right now this is Mike Scott's game. He has allowed nothing through seven. One and one the count as Feliz works to Sedania. This ball is in there for a call strike. Feliz very capable of dialing it up. Here's the one-two pitch. That's ball misses up and away. And very appreciative of you guys joining me here for a Saturday night stream. Slider 
gets Sedano chasing away. First strikeout for Feliz in the first batter he faces. There's one away. Don't frequently do Saturday night streams. But had a bit of time this evening and was feeling the earth. So certainly better to do it with people in attendance. So thank you very much. Here's Bill Doran. He's 0 for 2. He's also walked. And the Astros without Jose Altuve, who is on the injured list. Doran, high fly ball to the right, but Jeff Burrows practically doesn't have to move. Puts it away for the second out. We've had a few balls that sounded good off the bat and went nowhere. Here's Jeff Bagwell. Bagwell is 0 for 3. Struck out his last time up. He's been fanned twice. Hugh Darvish was terrific for the Rangers. Mike Scott has bested him here. Now Darvish has turned it over to the bullpen. 0-1 pitch from Feliz to Bagwell. Slider misses down low. That fastball misses low. It's two and one. Please fire slider gets the inside corner, and the count goes to two and two. Look for the slider away here, I would think. That's what he goes to. Bagwell drives it to right, but Burroughs is there. Puts it away, and the side is retired. So a nice job. By Neftali Feliz. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth. Burroughs, Greer, and Sunberg do up. Jeff Burroughs is 0 for 2. Mike Scott, 79 pitches through 7. He has been very economical in this one. Rangers haven't really worked the count at all. Scott comes out of this game. It won't be because of fatigue. Pitch fastball misses up high. Brad Lynch has sat down. Will Harris has now gotten up the throw with Larry Anderson. 1-0 offering from Scott to Burroughs. Splitter up high. That's not where Scott wanted that pitch, but it's in for a called strike. 1-1 one, one offering, splitter on the outside corner, it's 1-2. and two. Scott looks in, gets the sign from Edwards, and sets up away. Scott goes away, but misses down in a way. 2-2 two the count. Fastball there, Burrows into right field, that'll fall in front of Springer. So it's a leadoff single for Jeff Burrows. Get the Rangers going here in the bottom of the eighth. Hex Ags in the house. How are you, my friend? Thank you for tuning in. Good to see you as always. Here's Rusty Greer. Greer is 0 for 2. First pitch swing. Fouls off the fastball. It's 0 1. Greer is grounded out both times up in this one. I'm glad to hear that, my friend. 0-1 pitch coming here from Scott. Rear out in front of the splitter. It's 0-2. Scott sets and delivers. And a splitter at the knees. Down goes Rusty Greer. Strikeout number four for Mike Scott. And there's one away here in the eighth. Good pitch there from Scott, who has just been terrific in this one. So now, here's Jim Sundberg. Actually, I wonder if we should pinch hit for Jim Sundberg. Let's see. So they have Cordero and C.J. Wilson ready. Oh, and they have bullpen for the next inning. I'm sorry, that's, that doesn't really matter to right now. 
lefties, man, their bench, the Rangers' bench is brutal. Lenny Randall, the Onus Martin, Craig Gentry. Ugh. That's horrendous. Um, Sunberg, 273. We're actually going to let Sunberg take this at bat. If Jeff Burrows gets into scoring position, I would probably run for Burrows. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna let we're gonna let Sunberg hit you. Just the Rangers bench is so incredibly weak. They say Sunberg went around there. It's 0-1. Delivers Sunberg. Ground ball through the hole on the right side. It's a base hit. Burrows will pull in at second and hold there. So the Rangers will make the call here to run for Jeff Burrows. Don't like taking his bat out of the lineup, but at this point, oh, we're going we're gonna to let the Astros make their pitching change first. So Scott's day is done. Mike Scott was horrific here. He comes out of this game. Seven innings, no runs as of yet, though the two men on are attributable to him. And that'll bring in Brad Lidge. Lidge has had a rough go so far. Opponent's hitting over 300 against him. He's 1-2. and two. 6.04 earned run average. This will be his 23rd appearance. Bump Wills, the switch hitter. We'll step in. Now we've just got to make sure that there's somebody who can play right field on that bench. Chuck Hinton could, and Craig Gentry could. Okay, so that's fine. So now we're going to run for Burroughs. Leonis Martin is super fast, as is Craig Gentry. Um, and both of them are good fielders, too. So we're going to let Gentry come on and run for Burroughs. Do I have that do I have that right that I had Burroughs highlighted there? Print okay. pinch run Craig Gentry for Jeff Burroughs. Yes. So now the Rangers with the tying run in scoring position, they get some speed out there on in the base pads. Now here's Bump Wills. Wills is two for three. He'll face Lidge here. One out in the bottom of the eighth. Wills shoots one foul into the seats. Lidge from the set. Over one pitch. Slider comes inside and he hits Bump Wills. And that will load the bases. And now here's Elvis Andrews. Last thing Lidge wanted to do there. As Mike knows, Lidge still having Albert nightmares. That ball still hasn't landed. Andrews into right. Springer comes on, makes the catch. Runner tags up. Here's the throw from Springer. It's up the line. Gentry comes in to score, and we are tied here in Arlington. So the decision to run for Burroughs works out well. Gentry comes home to score to tie things on the sacrifice fly from Elvis Andrews. And now, here's Adrian Beltre. Beltre, one for three. He doubled in the first. Slider comes inside. He almost hits Beltre. Lidge not looking as though he's going to shake his early season problems in this one. 1-0 one -oh offering. Fastball is in for a called strike. It's 1-1. One and one. Lidge delivers. Beltray, ground ball to third. Bregman ranges. Goes the short way to second. They get the force. And the side is retired. So that could have been worse, but the Rangers tie it up. Mike Scott's going to come out of this with a no decision. A faith he certainly deserves better than. We'll head to the top of the ninth. Astros won. Rangers won. Your attention, please. 
now we're going to make a defensive move, and the game should be intelligent enough to make this move on its own. So Gentry is a because the Ast the Rangers lineup is so weak, and their center field options are so weak. They're actually playing um, Frank Howard unnaturally out in center. Honestly, it probably should, I actually should have made that move before. If they're going to play somebody out of position, it probably should have been Rusty Greer, who has a bit more range. But nobody really has range out there among those guys. But they really don't have a valid center fielder um, who can who's produced anything at the plate. But now that Craig Gentry, who is a legitimate center fielder, is in the game. We're going to let Gentry play center and move Frank Howard to his more natural right field position because Frank Howard truly doesn't have any business playing center field. Um, didn't burn them in this one, but the Rangers are just struggling for offense and trying to put, and they've got no speed, not a heck of a lot of defense from anybody who can produce offensively. Greer doesn't cover a lot of ground. Can't put Jeff Burrows in center either. Well, I guess both of them are probably slightly better options than Frank Howard. But anyway, I digress. So you got an inning out of Neftali Feliz. Now, I think... He threw, Feliz only threw 12 pitches. We're going to let Feliz stay in here, actually. Unless he gives up a base runner. If he gives up a base runner, we'll get him out. But Feliz is going to work here to George Springer. Springer is two for three. Pitch fastball in for a ball strike. Feliz looks in. Fastball misses up and in. And Springer for the second time in the game. Deep to left field. That ball is going to get out of here. George Springer, second home run of the game. Springer two, Rangers one. Tenth home run of the year for George Springer. And the Astros have taken a 2-1 lead here in the top of the ninth. George Springer goes yard. No trash cans to be heard. Perhaps one being kicked in the Rangers dugout at the moment. Springer's second home run of the game. Two solo shots. The only two runs for the Astros. But they take a 2-1 lead. And Springer did not get cheated on either of these. Both of them left the park significantly. Well, <laughs> maybe that managerial decision wasn't the best one. But Feliz had thrown well. I let them keep him in for a second inning of work. And now Francisco Cordero will come in. Of course, Cordero has stunk this year, too, as has the bulk of this Rangers bullpen. So here's Alex Bregman. He will greet Francisco Cordero. Bregman is 0 for 3, popped out in the 6. Arrow misses up high. Slider misses inside, and it's a very quickly 3-0 here. Wood arrow fires. That ball is in for a strike. Arrow rocks and fires. That fast ball is in there. He battled back to get it to 3 2. To their credit, the Rangers fans here have gotten their energy back. After the crushing shot from Springer, this one is popped down. The share is underneath it, puts it away for out number one. The left field, number nine. Hunter. Hey. 
So that'll bring up Hunter Pence. Pence is one for three. He's singled in the seven. That's ball there. Swung on and missed. Fastball there, and that is scalded in the center field. That'll be a base hit. Cut off by Gentry. But it's a one-out single. Hunter Pitch jumps all over that pitch. So that'll bring up Bob Watson. Watson one for three. Takes the slider down low. Consider a pinch hitter for Johnny Edwards. Up next, I think. Runner goes. Watson, ground ball to short. Only play will be to first with Pence in motion. Watson's thrown out, and there's two away. So now... Runner on second. First base is open. You're not going to worry about walking. You wouldn't walk Johnny Edwards. But let's see. If you're the Astros, who do you have on the Astros? Who do the Astros have on their bench? Oh, they got Terry. They can pinch hit Terry Poole, and then Brad Ausmus can come in to catch. Ausmus is better defensively than Edwards anyway. Terry Poole, 255. Poole's a better hitter than Edwards, though, and a pinch hitter extraordinaire. Although he pro, if you're the Rangers here, yeah, all right, that's how this would play out. Poole will pinch hit for Edwards, ladies and gentlemen. You're but then the Rangers would walk Terry Poole here because Adam Everett, even though he has a couple of hits today, Adam Everett is hitting buck ninety. So. And I go get the get the machinations in play here. Actually, I have to take control. I, yep. Oh, the game's going to do it. I don't even have to tell it to. Wow, the game doing it on its own. Way to be smart, AI. We like when that happens. Sorry, I doubted you. <laughs> so the intentional walk to pool, and now here's Adam Everett. Everett, two for three, a pair of singles in this one. And Everett entered this game batting one eight. Fine glove man. Not much with the stick. Now he's got a chance. A third hit here would probably give the Astros a 3 nothing lead. Hence on second. Pool on first. Those are Dave Smith up and throwing in the Astros bullpen. That one popped up down the right-hand side, drifting towards the seats and foul. Cordero is ahead of Everett, 0-2. Arrow checks the runner and delivers. Everett pops another one foul. Arrow delivers. Pop. Looper. Shallow right field. Howard gets over there and puts it away, and the side is retired. But George Springer hits his second solo homer of the game. We'll see if that's all the Astros need. We head to the bottom of the ninth in Arlington. Astros 2, Rangers 1. It really is such a beautiful game, like cinematically and stuff like that. So, so good. So, oh, I'm sorry. Will Harris is taking the closing duties this year. Smith is the setup man. Harris, 13 of 13, a 0 0.73. Earned run average. So Harris gets the nod. Brad Austin is to come in and catch it. Here's Mark Teixeira. Teixeira is 0 for 2. He's also drawn a walk. First pitch from Harris. Teixeira pops it up. Shallow right field. Bill Doran waves everybody off. Puts it away for out number one. One pitch, one out. It doesn't get much easier than that if you're Will Harris. 
And now here comes Honda. Frank Howard 0 for 3. His early season struggles continue. Howard has been a presence in the middle of this lineup for the first two years of the FSBL. But just nothing has been able to get him on track here in year three. 1-0 pitch from Harris. Breaking ball. Howard turns that one hard with that. Harris gets the sign from Austin. 1-1 one, one offer. Fastball misses up high. It's 2-1. Crowd here in Texas trying to will their big slugger. A snap out of it here in a big spot. 2-1 offering from Harris. Howard, high fly ball in the center. Hits it pretty well, but not well enough. Cedeno is under it, puts it away. And the Rangers are down in their final out. So that'll bring up the rookie, Rafael Palmiero. Palmiero 0 for 3. He rounded out his last time up. Harris looks in and delivers. Pitch fastball, high strike ball. Count goes to 0 1. Palmiero does not like the call. He takes a little bit of a stroll there. Try to collect his thoughts rather than sharing his thoughts with the home plate umpire. 0-1 pitch from Harris. Her ball misses inside. It's 1-1. One one. Harris delivers. Her ball misses inside. It's 2-1. and one. Arrow twirls the bat. Stares down Harris. Ground ball on the right side. Doran has it. Takes his time, throws the first, and that ends the ball game. Astros get the big win. Brad Lidge taking congratulations. He's going to come out of this game with a win. That's unbelievable. Mike Scott was terrific in this one. Ends up with a no decision. Lidge will get the win, the benefit of the Springer home run. Oh, my goodness. Official score. Have some balls and change that. <laughs> So the Astros get two George Springer home runs. Mike Scott outduels you, Darvish. We had a terrific pitching duel here. Again, both of these teams struggling, desperate to get themselves on track with only a wild card position in hope as the A's figure to once again run away with this AL West for the third year in a row. So that evens up this three-game series, first two games split here your final line score two runs nine hits no errors for the astros one run six hits no errors for the rangers al thank you as always my friend great to see you in here i hope you enjoy the rest of your night and weekend again be sure to check out all the fun stuff al has had going on on his channel your cubbies are starting to come around tex they lost this week. They lost the game of the week uh, stream I did yesterday to, to the Mets. But the the there there are a few games below 500. But they're not they're not terrible actually. Lynch gets the win, two thirds of an inning. Will Harris saves his 14th. The Cali Feliz takes the loss for the Rangers. And Springer three for four, a pair of solo homers. Elvis Andrews drove in the lone Texas run on a sacrifice fly. Check out the pitching lines quickly. Scott, seven and a third, six hits, one run, one walk, four strikeouts. For the Rangers, Hugh Darvish, six innings, six hits, one run, one walk, four strikeouts. A so very similar pitching lines there. <laughs> Do they have a chance? Probably not in that division with the Cardinals and the, and the Pirates. The Pirates have cooled off, but the Pirates still lead that NL Central, actually. Um... But the Cubbies are, are certainly playing better than they played last year. Again, not putting themselves into that 3-19 and 19 hole or whatever it was they did to start, let, to start year two. Um, certainly, certainly helping them out there. So that will wrap things up from here. Hugely appreciative of you guys checking in here on this Saturday evening. Always more fun to do these streams with people in the chat. So greatly appreciate it. 
Uh, check out other stuff on the channel. We've had a couple of football broadcasts recently. Uh, first broadcast of the week four trio of games of the week. The Patriots and Cowboys did that the other day. Um, and we'll have next game up football-wise will be Raiders and Chargers. That probably won't be till Monday. Um, and, of course, baseball rolls on. Again, we'll have another couple weeks of games here. And then after that, We'll get to the rookie draft here for year three, which people always seem to be pretty excited about to see the new players that will come in for year four. Nathaniel, thank you, buddy. Always good to see you guys. Special thanks, Nathaniel Lentz, Tech Ag, Al Red Sox fan, Sports Time Machine, or good friend Mike. Yeah, check out those terrific channels. Dan Burke was here as well. Doug Hunt in the ballpark early on as well. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Be good to each other. And we'll talk soon. The Astros take down the Rangers 2-1 in Arlington.